Hey there, and welcome to this next video in the scalar parsing series. This video is going to be around regular expressions, and regular expressions are the foundation of parsing, so it's really critical that either you have some familiarity with regular expressions as you're building parsers, or you take a look at some of the resources that we're going to provide um, to help you along the way. So this video is going to cover two things, and the first thing is going to be um, understanding how scalar differs from standard regular expression libraries. And then the next piece is are going to be uh, resources for learning regular expressions. So if we take a look here, um, the first thing is understanding the difference. So um, when it comes to parsing, the regular expression library that the parser layer actually uses is going to be this uh, java.util.regex. Um, and then the scalar flavor of regex, which I've been talking about, can be actually um, seen in this table here. Um, and let's just take a look. So you're going to go to support.scalar.com. Um, and then from here, uh, this is our knowledge base. And if you just type in regex here um, and you click into this scalar regex um, knowledge base article, this is going to give you a table of everything that is supported that's not supported. So it's going to talk to you about the characters, the quantifiers, the logic, um, and then anchors and boundaries. Um, so let's kind of go through this table and I'll explain um, the scalar flavor of regex. So in a traditional regex string, you would have, um, like for a digit, you would do slash D for a digit from zero to nine. Um, in scalar, in, particularly in the parsing engine, you're going to double escape um, pretty much everything that comes through. So the examples are going to show you how to how to do that. But in this case, um, this is doing log and then two underscore and then two digits after there. Um, so that's what we have here. Um, so that is one key piece to keep in mind is that you're going to be double escaping. Another piece here are um, implicit anchors. So if you're using the start or the end um, anchor, those are implicit. And we're going to get into some examples of exactly what that means um, in the next video, which is going to be formats. The next piece that I really want to touch on are look around. So um, negative and positive look aheads and look behinds, those are not supported at all. Um, so support for those have been completely deactivated, and that is just due to um, performance implications. Um, for every parser that I've ever done, um, lookarounds are not necessarily required. Um, you could do some things with lookarounds, um, but we have enough tools available to us to um, kind of bypass those in a more performant way. So that's why lookarounds are not supported. All right, so that's um, understanding how Scalar differs from like a standard regex library. The next thing I want to talk about are some resources for learning regex. And um, really what you can do is you can just take a look at the um, description. And there's going to be a couple of links there. So the first resource that we're actually going to take a look at um, is regexer.com. And this is just a regular expression testing engine. So in this case, let's take a, let's take a standard regular expression example, and let's match phone numbers. So let's do 800 dash. Um, and let's write a regular expression to match that. Um, so that's looking for a digit. Um, and in this case, we're going to do um, just like a just a standard matching pattern. Um, OK, so you can see three digits, dash three digits, dash four digits here. Um, and if we were to do something that differed from this pattern a little bit, like let's say there were no dashes or there were like slashes instead, it wouldn't match. Um, so that's just a simple tool to help you with regular expressions in general. It doesn't really have any relation to Scalar, but it is a, a good segue into talking about some of the tools that we actually have on the Scalar side. So the other tool that you have on the Scalar side is if you go to scalar.com help, 
into our documentation and you go into the main parsing documentation, which is here, uh, into log parsers. And if you click here uh, in this parser editor, you click into the log parse tester. This is gonna be a very similar regular expression tester. Um, one thing that we could do is we can um, paste test data that we have like here. And we can just pay, cut and paste whatever we want there. And then we're gonna write our formats very similarly to how we just did in regexer. So let's write that same um, pattern. Remember that we're double escaping. Um, so we'll do three digits followed by a dash and then three digits followed by a dash and then four digits. And then we'll give it an ID and we'll say match. And then um, with these two lines here, if I press test, one of them is gonna match and then the other one's not going to. So the one that matched um, here, it also matches here. Um, so they're very similar tools. This one is probably a better one to test with um, if you are specifically building a parser, just because it is using that same parsing engine. The last two pieces that I want to briefly touch on are just some external resources that you actually have. Regular expressions have been around for a long time. Um, back when I first started learning regular expressions, they didn't 100% make sense to me. Um, after I went through the introduction in this channel, um, it was crystal clear how they actually worked. So if you um, really don't know where to start with regular expressions, I would recommend going through some of these videos until they actually make sense. The last external resource that I actually want to talk about is um, going to be on Hacker Ring. If you just want some practice, there are some really good challenges in here that will help you increase your regular expression skills. And they um, start off easy and then they can get um, significantly more difficult. So those are just a few resources that we have available to us um, in terms of learning regular expressions. Um, so thanks for joining this foundational video into parsing. The next video, we are going to hit the ground running with formats.